Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what I am taking with me to go visit my BFF this weekend. This is a travel bag. The brand is Modella. I got this from HEB. I know uh, Walmart sells this as well. I'm not sure about Target though. I think this was about $25. I actually got the idea from Makeup by Tiffany D. She had a Henry Bindle one that was like $85 or something. This is definitely much more affordable and it's the same idea. So it's very compact, just like this. You can tell it's very slender and it keeps a lot of stuff in it. So this top little section that has like a mesh, a little mesh netting thing actually came with its own containers, which all the containers look like this. Um, just little white containers and it came with a soap dish as well, but I replaced some of them with my own containers. So I have a claw clip for when I do my hair. These little containers I think I got from Target. Um, I scratched out the thing so I know what it is. This one is shampoo. And as you can see, these are very uh, travel friendly because they do... There are, they're under three ounces. Um, this is conditioner. I really couldn't tell you what's in it, to be honest, um, because I kind of just throw whatever each time. Like, I think this is Herbal Essence. I think this is my um, uh, Aussie Three Minute Miracle. And then some body wash right here. And as you can see there, I just kind of scratched out shampoo so I knew that it was body wash. And then I took the uh, little white containers that it came with, and this is my toner. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Toner, and they fit perfectly in there. I have a Travel Oscar Blondi um, dry shampoo. I actually prefer my uh, Batiste shampoo, but this actually, I mean, it'll work fine for traveling. And then I have a mini travel hairspray. This is the Big Sexy Hair uh, Spray and Stay Intense Hold Hairspray. I can't, I think I got that in a like a little sample pack. And then this is my Bioderma makeup, uh, eye makeup remover that I just put in one of these bottles. And these bottles here have little twist caps like that. So they're great to put liquids in so that you can just put on a cotton ball or a cotton pad and do like that. So this is great that it actually holds everything very nicely and then it has a zipper that zips nicely around it. And then the inner part actually has a zipper as well but I just have it undone. It comes with this little hook thing so that you can hang it on like at the back of the door and it's accessible or so it's not laying out everywhere but this side is um, not as deep as this side but it has a clear like plastic material. It's not mesh so I would suggest putting any liquids in here in case they bust. I always take a new toothbrush with me when I travel. This is just a regular Colgate one um, just because it's easier to travel with. I have my Dove deodorant in the original clean, my Neutrogena makeup wipes in night calming. I have some cotton pads right here, as you can see, some Johnson & Johnson or whatever cotton swabs, like the little travel thing, and I keep this little thing and just refill it every time I travel. I have my Purity Made Simple um, Philosophy Cleanser in a travel size. This is my current uh, cream. Day cream, this is a seaweed mattifying one from the body shop. That's super easy to travel with. And then I also have my eye creams here. These are both from Philosophy. I have the I Believe and the Hope in a Tube. And then the rest of this stuff in here is kind of just samples at, or like little sample bottles that it's easy for me to work with. So as you can see, let's see, like this one right here is just a little Chanel sample thing that I, I got my Chanel curlers and I took some of these. This is actually my uh, John Frieda No Frizz straightening cream that I just put in here. And it has like a little, I don't know if I'll be able to show you this without spilling it. But it has like a little spatula on the end. You can kind of see it there. A spatula that helps you get the product out of there easily. This is my um, Genifique uh, serum. I, I can't remember. I think Estee Lauder makes it. Or no, Lancome I think makes it. But I just put it in there and you can see that it's the little spatula will help me get it out. In these little Nordstrom containers I have my acne cream in one and then Another like antihistamine cream if my eczema um, breaks out because where I'm going it's super dry and so my skin always breaks out. And then I hardly ever take perfume bottles unless I'm going to be gone for a long time. Usually I'll try and take a bunch of perfume samples. So like I have Someday by Justin Bieber. I have a bunch of pink sugars. I have the Gucci Guilty which is my um, all time favorite perfume. Yeah and that's it in that section. I meant to show you guys the back. This is like what the print looks like. It's very durable because it has that plastic lining on the outside, even though the inside's like satin or that kind of material. So on this side, it is like that same mesh material. So it's breathable. It's great for makeup. It doesn't necessarily leave your makeup trapped with 
mold or anything like that. So first I have just my Hello Kitty hairbrush. I always take that with me because it's very travel friendly. I also have my current nail polish that I'm wearing right now, which is Essie's Pink Parka. I have it on my toes and on my nails, so I try and carry that with me. Um, I'll only be gone for the weekend, so it should be okay to last me the whole weekend. No biggie as far as chipping and stuff like that. I have my Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I have some Scandinavia Setting Spray. My Murad uh, Oil Control Primer. That's like my favorite primer ever. I have the uh, Maybelline One by One what is this? The Volume Express Mascara. I actually have two mascaras. That one and the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes. And these two are kind of like on their last leg, so I'm just trying to take them and use them up. I also have, let's see, what is this? The Maybelline Superstay in Perpetual Peony Lipstick. And the e.l.f. Um, Radiance Enhancer. This one is in the color, what is that? Spotlight for a highlight on the cheeks. I took one paint pot. This is Max Painterly Paint Pot. I have my little baby Benefit Stay Don't Stray. This is on its last leg is why I use that to set my um, under eye concealer. I have a Kabuki brush. This is a Sigma Buffer F45. And um, this is the a dupe for the MAC one. And I just brought that because it didn't fit in my brush holder. I also brought my Beauty Blender the uh, Benefit Powder Flage Under Eye Setting Powder. I have my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Primer uh, Plus Brightener. I really like this just to brighten the under eyes. My Chanel Eyelash Curler, which is a new addition to my makeup collection. Absolutely love these. Totally lavish, but they're worth the money. Uh, my Baby Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is also on its last leg. I'm hoping to use that up. I have my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. This one I have in the color Light. Um, this is a new one. I just opened that. I have my brow powder. This is just from Walgreens. Uh, I think it's like $1.99, but I really like mixing these two colors for my brows. I have um, two lip products in here, which is, let me explain why. I have the Nivea uh, Mint and Minerals, uh, a Kiss of Mint and Minerals, just a refreshing chapstick. And then I have my Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in the color Honey. This one's my all-time favorite. I actually am taking my... Um, Louis Vuitton Westminster purse and I have a whole like little pouch full of lip products that stay in there always so these are just two of them that I'm taking in addition to I have my Z palette which um, I built this palette I got it from zpalette.com this is uh, they're all MAC eyeshadows I hardly ever use my MAC, my MAC eyeshadows I tend to neglect them which is not a good thing because they're very expensive this is uh, Max Gleam eyeshadow. This is um, Paradisco Expensive Pink. That is Vanilla Wedge Satin Taupe. Um, this is Naked Lunch. Um, I think that's Sable. Yeah, Sable and uh, Tempting. And I just figured that would be like a kind of good mix of colors. I probably won't even use a lot of them, but I want to have the options just in case. Uh, my best friend Heidi has, she's a makeup junkie and a YouTube junkie like I am, so she has like the naked palette and stuff like that if I'm desperate. I'm taking my Bobbi Brown um, corrector in the color light bisque. My MAC brow set, again, it's all gone. I'm hoping to use that up. My Revlon Color Stay um, liquid eye pen in the color black. I'm taking the NYX... Um, Slide, what are these? Slide on, glide on, stay pencils in the color jet black. This is my favorite eyeliner. I still have that cough going on, so if you hear me wheezing, sorry about that. I also have, or I also brought the Mary Kay uh, blotting papers. These are actually becoming quite quickly my favorite blotting papers over the clean and clear ones because they're like a paper material. Like instead of them being like that silky one that the clean and clear has, so these are actually becoming my favorite. If any of you guys sell Mary Kay, let me know how much they are. I'd love to buy some more. And then I have my NARS Denmar Denmari palette, which is the only blush that I brought, which is enough. And again, she's a blush junkie, like absolutely loves blush. So if I needed other blushes, I know she'd be able, she'd let me use hers. So as you can see, it fits pretty nicely in there. I actually could have fit a lot more stuff, but let's be real. I'm just going away for the weekend. I really, this was actually pushing it because a lot of the stuff that I ended up bringing, I mean, I know I could have used at her house, but, you know, I don't like to impose on people like that, even though she's been my best friend for 10 plus years. I just, I don't know, I like having my own things. So that was this little thing here. It's going to take two hands to close, but very travel friendly. I really, really like it. Like I said, check out Walmart. Um, I got this from HEB if you're in Texas. So 
super affordable way to travel. And then I'm also taking my luggage here. As you can see, I have everything lined out because I wasn't sure which one I was going to be able to fit everything into, which I'm thinking I'll be good with this small one. I haven't decided whether I want to check it in or not yet. Let me go ahead and get down on the floor and kind of show you. I'm taking my um, Target Pierce Pumps for church on Sunday. I have this little thing that I got from TJ Maxx. It just snaps here if I could get it open with one hand. And it um, actually holds jewelry quite nicely. So that's the jewelry I'm bringing. My two Michael Kors watches, some jewel mint, bracelets, my Pandora, my main movement, and some gold and rose gold earrings. I'm taking these, um, let me see, these chunklets from Target, the rose gold ones, which are already super dirty. I'm taking these gold ones that I got from New York and Company. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the brushes that I'm taking. So these are all the brushes that I'm taking. Actually, not that many at all. I took literally the minimal amount of brushes that I could. This is kind of difficult. So I'm taking a foundation brush, my eyebrow brush, a blending blush, a pencil, another blending. Um, what is this? Oh, a little angled brush for like eyeliner, my concealer brush, another, oh, that's for the under eye, and a padding, an eyeshadow brush. A little thing for my inner corner to do my paint pots and my uh, primer, a, sh a shadow brush, and a lip brush. So I actually did the very minimum that I could. And again, she has a ton of brushes. I could have used hers, but I don't want to do that to her. And then the clothes, I'm not going to show you guys what I brought. It's just basic clothes, nothing spectacular. But in this bag, this is actually from Victoria's Secret. I've had it for a long time. I used to, I've told you guys this before, I used to keep my... Um, makeup in this like this is all the makeup that I ever owned baby come here hi my honey baby <laughs> want to say hi to YouTube no <laughs> say hi baby fine yes please um, don't don't buy that just for the gift you need you already have plenty of those bags I'm not going to buy it. Look, my Ultra Rewards came in. I'm so excited. Level 3? That's all I got? Okay, sorry. That was my handy bunny. So anyway, I actually used to keep all of my makeup just in this thing. That's it. Like, <laughs> not a whole room, not a whole anything. Just this. So then when you open it, yes, I actually have feminine products in here. Take those out in case you guys are grossed out. But I have a loofah. I have my Clarisonic, my um, Sidhu Revolution blow dryer, and then my Brush Labs round brush. And the reason that I keep this stuff in here is because when, you know, like if TSA has to go through your bag, it's so much easier for them just to open one thing instead of tossing everything around. I absolutely hate when they do that. So, and plus it fits nicely in this bag. I was um, telling Andres that I actually couldn't decide whether I wanted to take this bag or this one. This is a medium and this, this is a small just because I'll probably bring things home because I hope we're going to go shopping. Um, so I haven't really decided yet, but yeah. So I actually decided to go with the medium luggage. That way I have to check it in, but it's fine. I'm flying Southwest and they let you do a check bag for free. So no biggie. And then I, the thing I love about this luggage is it has this thing to kind of strap everything down. And now I have plenty of room to bring things back on my way home. So yeah, that was my whole what I'm taking with me to visit my best friend <laughs> little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!